Tash. Hey, Taryn. Ha, ha, ha. It is the second episode of October series. So I'm going to start us off with a little fun fact. Okay. Which I'm having deja vu, but also, you know how that could also mean that you're right where you need to be. Mm -hmm. I'm going to choose to believe it was that. Yes. Or I'm just repeating something, which is fine. Um, Did you know that there is a state in the U.S. Mm -hmm. that produces up to five times more pumpkins than any other state? What would your guess? I need to guess. Um, I'm going to guess Wisconsin. Eh. Can I get another guess? Wait, what? You want another guess? Can I have a second guess? Yeah, yeah, go for it. Iowa. Oh, it does start with an I. Indiana. Illinois. Illinois. Isn't that weird? I don't think I would have thought it was Illinois. Me neither. Is hiring challenging? Yes. Do you love a challenge? Also, yes. You need a hiring partner that can help you rise to the challenge. What you need is Indeed. If you guys don't already know, Indeed is the hiring platform where you can attract, interview, and hire all in one place. Instead of spending hours on multiple job sites searching for candidates with the right skills, Indeed's a powerful hiring platform that can help you do it all. So start hiring now with a $75 sponsored job credit to upgrade your job post at indeed.com slash unsolicited. Offer good for a limited time. Claim your $75 credit now at indeed.com slash unsolicited. Just go to indeed.com slash unsolicited and support the show by saying that you heard about it from this podcast. Indeed.com slash unsolicited. Terms and conditions apply. Need to hire? You need Indeed. So obviously creating visual content is an essential part of what I do, but the creative process has not always been that easy. We've talked about this before on the podcast, but when Taryn and I first started, we had zero design skills, no idea about marketing and had no idea how to market a brand like this podcast. Our absolute saving grace was Canva because they had so many cool features, so many cool templates, so many cool things to kind of spark your creative juices. But one of the most incredible things that Canva has is Canva for teams. It has been easy to collaborate and design with our team, which makes the whole process so much more fun, so much more creative, and just so much more rewarding. So collaborate with Canva for teams. Right now, you can get a free 45-day extended trial when you go to canva.me slash advice. That's C-A-N-V-A dot M-E slash advice, A-D-V-I-C-E, for a free 45-day extended trial. Again, that's canva.me slash advice. I feel like Illinois is like corn country. Yeah. But sure. Yeah. It says, if you're in the market... For a truly destination-worthy pumpkin patch, head to the heartland, the land of Lincoln. <laughs> As, I don't know why I'm reading this whole thing, but yeah. I'm just going to keep going because it's funny. Enough. Okay. Ha, the land of Lincoln has more than 15,000 acres devoted to gourd growing, according to the U.S. Department of Agriculture. Um, they typically grow more than 500 million pounds of million. pumpkins. Million? Million? Annually. Oh. Holy wow. Right? I guess it's pumpkin country, not corn country. Speaking of pumpkin, where's my scones, ho? <laughs> listen. Listen. Uh, we'll get to that uh, later. Hello, everyone. Hello. Welcome back to Unsolicited Advice October series. Yeah. Episode two. Uh, one started off with a bang, and now we're here for another one. Yes, we are. Another one. Another one. DJ Khaled. <laughs> Another one. Another one. <laughs> what else does he say? He says something else. Uh, um, hold on. No, that's Pitbull. Uh, we the best music. <laughs> <laughs> I literally had to like turn off my brain and let it come to me is what I had to do. I just was every like. There's so many different like yeah. shout out oh things God. that happen in like rap music, and yeah. I was just thinking of all of the ones that didn't apply. But yeah, the, the videos <sighs> of the backup like hype man or whoever My that's always just singing favorite. like the one word, yeah, the like three words, and they hit it so hard. It's so it's good, so funny, and it's like sound effects and mm-hmm. then repeated words. Yeah, yeah. no, it's 
amazing. Um, I just want to point out, first of all, the air conditioning is not working in the studio. Yeah. If we just stop talking, it's because we passed out. Yeah. <laughs> Which usually, like, I'm not joking, at least once an episode, I'll message Michaela on my computer and be like, I'm hot. <laughs> and she'll, like, so crank good. the air up. Um, but it's, like, this joke that I'm, like, always hot. And, of course, we're supposed to be wearing we are. our sweatshirts. Yeah. And someone conveniently, on the day the air's not working, it's me. I'm going to check your bags. I know. It's, it's in my car. And I don't want to go get it because it's hot. It's in your car. It's in my car. It's in my trunk. I fully forgot it in my trunk. Should have brought it in. Along with your Um, Halloween mug? And No, the Halloween mug is definitely at my place. But I should have worn the sweatshirt. But I also am choosing not to because I'm hot. Okay, where is the commitment? It's October series. I will be so crazy. You're supporting. You're here for both of us. Supporting us for the people. And that's all that matters for our YouTube followers. Which if you don't follow us on YouTube, you should because you can watch us. You can watch us do our thing. Mm-hmm. It's so much fun. And you can see Taryn sipping out of her spooky you can skeleton see me mug right now. Creeping it real. Creeping it real. Creep it real, y'all. Um, so just says. a couple just a couple things we want to go over. As you guys know, the October series is only a possibility because you guys send in content. So would just love to give a little PSA. We need your content. So if you yes. have a scary story to share, please, 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 pretty please um, take the time to write it out keep all the spooky details in there um if you know someone with a scary story convince them to write it or ask permission to write in their scary yeah. story um because we need the scary spooky spooky content yeah also if you don't follow us on instagram you totally should because we make fun promos every single yes. week for every single episode where taryn and i i mean we fully commit to this guys this is what mm-hmm. our fourth year of doing it uh-huh. um where we will dress up in halloween costumes and make a short little fun video um, and it's become something that just honestly just brings so much joy. Yeah. <laughs> to it really us, does. To you guys. It's definitely uh, worth the follow. So if you um, have an opportunity to head to Instagram and um, give that content a like because it, we worked hard on it. <laughs> yeah. It's great. It's I, I still like looking back at like all our other ones. Oh, my gosh. It's a so much time. fun. Um. Also, what else was I going to say? Something else Halloween related. And then I forgot. I went to Lowe's today. Full of Halloween decor. Oh, yeah. I know. I was at Michael's. I was at Costco. Full of Christmas decor. No Halloween. And I couldn't support that. I was like, did you just skip a month? I understand having Christmas stuff out. Sure. It's September. But like, there should also be Halloween stuff out. I feel like Costco's model as a store is like prep buying like mm-hmm. you buy in bulk maybe october so was out in july i was gonna say they probably had it earlier and like by now they're like if you haven't bought it it's too late we're on to the next you know <laughs> yeah it's like not even october yet yeah yeah um, um well now it's not true but by the time they're listening it is it is october so welcome wah ha 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 <laughs> okay um i we didn't discuss this but i have a tear it uh tear it up Halloween. oh well, never so mind. I'm gonna then. hijack the crap out of you right now. Wait, can we can we say go buy our merch? Yeah, that's all. Oh, <laughs> go buy our merch. Uh, uh, can we say it? Well, that's it. I said it. <laughs> um, also, also welcome to everyone who only comes to listen to October series. We yes. love you. And also, 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 um, I think we've we already said this, but. Yeah, oh yeah, we said it last episode, but if you aren't satisfied with just our one a week uh, scary episode, Mm -hmm. um, you can subscribe to our Supercast because we're also doing an extra Halloween episode every week Mm -hmm. there too, so you could possibly get two. And we did an additional before October series started scary episode too, so you can get all the things. And- our like supercast fam is growing it and is it's growing so exciting it and i growing. love i love it it makes me so happy I love it. um 
if you guys don't know, we have a subscription option for you guys with Supercast where you can pay for bonus content every single month. It's only $5. Um, you get tons of bonus content from us. Not only can you get discounts on merch and get your first glance at any merch that mm -hmm. we have, but we, they even got to hear the October series first. Like we dropped it to them first before ever even starting it in October. They got it in September. So there's so many reasons why you should subscribe to Supercast. It's worth the $5, we guarantee you. Yup. Uh, okay, well, shall we get into... The nitty gritty. The nitty gritty. Do you know what you're going to be for Halloween, Ash? I don't even know what I'm doing for Halloween. Do you know what you're doing? Not at all. Hmm. <laughs> That's so far away. <laughs> True. I feel like I, I rarely like prepare a costume. It's always like super last in it. I'll just either throw something that we use for like an October <laughs> series promo or make something up. But... Um, I'm pretty sure uh, my boyfriend and I want to be um, Caleb and Max from Stranger Things. Oh, cute. So oh, I think yeah, I'm going to yeah, yeah. get like a like a red wig and her fit. I forget what she's wearing. It's like jeans and a so cute. Like windbreaker. a striped t-shirt or something. I think it's like a blue windbreaker with a stripe. Yeah. So I think that's what we're going to do. Cute. Pretty sure. Love that. Love uh, that. Not 100% yet, but like that's what we wanted. That was our other option for last year. And I feel like we should do it now. Yeah. 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 That's right. I love that for you. All right, are you ready for the tearing it up? Yes. Halloween status. Yes. Um, if if you don't remember, we do. We still are continuing tearing it ups, but we're doing like you Spooky. thought you were. It was something scary, but it ended up being something Spooky. not. Spooky. Spooky then silly. Spooky then silly. Exactly. I hate the word silly. Anyways, I okay. hate it. Yeah. It's weird. Okay, so this one is titled "Blue Truck Stalker." It's a great title, huh? Blue Truck Stalker. Stalker. Okay, good evening, friends. My name is Sydney, and I've been an avid listener of y'all's podcast since day one. You both bring so much joy to the lives of your listeners, and I hope you remember that. I have a tearing it up for y'all that is kind of, sort of, October series themed. Kind of, sort of? Kind of, sort of. It mm. is. It is. For some background, I'm a senior in college and I just moved out of my parents' house this last summer. I'm also a dedicated true crime podcast listener. Therefore, I'm hyper aware of everything around me. Me. Yeah. Everybody's like, Taryn, you're paranoid. And I'm like, yeah, but I'll see it coming. I will see it coming because I think everyone who passes me, every noise I hear is someone trying to kill me and mm -hmm. I'm prepared. She's ready. I got a new taser. It doesn't matter who you are. And it's amazing. Nice. Yeah. <laughs> it's really cool. <laughs> Anyways, okay. Um, with these things in mind, let's move forward with the story. The other week, I was driving home from a college ministry event at my church. I had to take an alternate route home due to a bad wreck that shut down the road. It was about 10 p.m., and I was both exhausted and slightly annoyed at having to take the long way home. As I sat at a stoplight, I noticed the guy in the blue truck in front of me looking back at me and laughing. At this light, there were two left turning lanes. I was in the far left with a car in front, and they were the first car in the right left turning lane, if that makes sense. Does that make sense? I think so. So, like, he wasn't technically in front of her, but he was Diagonal. in the next lane in front of where her car yes. was. Yeah, yeah. Okay. Because of this and the fact that it was dark, I couldn't see his face. All I could tell was that he was young, male, in a big truck and kept looking back at me snickering. Great, I thought to myself, another guy being stupid at a traffic light. Why is that the time that they just like choose to like stare? Yeah. Nonstop. Mm -hmm. You're like, look away. Yeah. Yeah. Slowly put on your sunglasses. Right. So you can stare back without making eye contact. That's what <laughs> exactly. I, I kept a straight face and did not turn my head to look. I didn't want to give them the satisfaction of looking over. The light turned green and we both turned left. To my utter annoyance, the blue truck decided to ride right beside me. Yeah. Out of the corner of my eye, I could see the guy looking over and trying to get my attention. Can this guy catch the hint? I'm not interested. He stayed beside me for a couple of blocks and then drifted behind me to where I couldn't see. Praise God that's over with. Or so I thought. I live in a big neighborhood off the road I had turned on. 
So when I got to my light, I went to turn into my neighborhood. Suddenly, big lights whip behind me out of nowhere. To my horror, it was the blue truck. They were following me into my neighborhood. They saw I was a young girl alone in my car and knew I must be going home. This was not good. Instinct cut in, and I was determined to lose him. I whipped left into the neighborhood and flew down the hill to a four-way stop. I lived to the left, so naturally I turned right to throw the guy off. My heart pounded as I waited to see his lights behind me, but they never came. Either I lost him or he actually wasn't following me. Oh, well. I turned around and went home. Immediately, I grabbed my phone to text my boyfriend the whole story, only to see I already had a message from him. (laughs) The message says, Trey says, he's sorry if you thought he was following you home. (laughs) Freaking Trey. Oh, my gosh. The guy in the big blue truck was someone from my church. He also happens to live in my neighborhood only one street over from me. And he drives a big blue truck. I was mortified. My stalker was a guy that I have known for years. (laughs) Due to the circumstances, I decided I could never show my face to Trey again. Obviously. But but hey, at least some guy wasn't trying to murder me or something. Anyways, thanks for reading my story. My boyfriend and I still get a kick out of it. Hopefully it's not too long. Have a wonderful day. Love, Sydney. Sydney. That's so good. So Sydney never actually looked at the guy. No, because she was scared, scared which is, that's what I do too. If I see someone trying to like wave and get my attention, I usually try to avoid it. But this time it was just like a friend. You wouldn't first? Well, it's hard because like you glance, like you're looking at your peripherals, right? right? And you're just like, okay, it's this big blue truck. I don't know anyone who drives that. It's a guy. It's late at night. Like I'm just trying to go home. He's been like staying right next yeah. to me so i think a lot of people have that approach usually i'll i'll glance once and right. give like a death stare yeah so um, or confirm that you know yeah, the guy. yeah, yeah. <laughs> but or i totally get i totally get her you know yeah. being like i'm just avoiding at all costs yeah Theory. i'm just dying that he was like by her driving could tell that yeah. she was like freaked well, out she- <laughs> she turned so hard. And yeah, she said she went the opposite. <laughs> her so boyfriend funny. and the fact that he texted her boyfriend, being like, "Hey, man, like, yeah. just tell her my bad." There were I'm a couple times her. when Taryn li- and I lived together that she would come home and she'd be like, "Oh man, I think I was followed," and I like I went every other street to like yeah to cheer them until they turned and then I came home and I yeah. was like, "Well done, you did great." I do that all the time. <laughs> I always have everywhere that I've lived. I have like an alternate route just mm-hmm. like in my back pocket because the worst thing you want to do is just like panic and then you just like draw accidentally drive into like a cold stack and then you're stuck you yeah. know so i i usually have like an alternate route that i know like loops around in a way that does not make sense for someone to follow me because it was like a complete circle yeah and so i had one when i lived with ash i have one at my place now yeah and so if i feel uneasy and sometimes it's not even that like I notice the car following me. If if it's late at night and there's a car following me, sometimes I'll just do it. I mean, it takes like two minutes out of my day, right? Yeah. But just to like ensure and then I can drive home and like feel safe. Mm-hmm. But yeah, it's the things you do when you're a true uh, cr- true crime person. What, what are they called? That's it? True crime. Uh, fan? Fan? I'm not like a fan. I don't love true crime, but like- You a thousand percent are a fan. No, but- I don't listen to it because it's entertaining. I listen to it because I'm trying to. I feel know like that's what most people would say. How to not get murdered? Mm-hmm. Yeah, yeah. You're giving me nothing today. I'm, I'm just, just <laughs> like you really, you really making me work for this. We are both huge <laughs> true crime fans. I don't think it means that we are like wearing Dahmer merch. I think it means nah, like we nah, listen nah. to it. That makes yeah, us yeah. a fan. Yeah, I got. Just to clarify. I got. Um, but we we are we both love Crime Junkie and My Favorite Murder and all the pods. Is hiring challenging? Yes. Do you love a challenge? Also, yes. 
You need a hiring partner that can help you rise to the challenge. What you need is Indeed. If you guys don't already know, Indeed is the hiring platform where you can attract, interview, and hire all in one place. Instead of spending hours on multiple job sites searching for candidates with the right skills, Indeed's a powerful hiring platform that can help you do it all. Indeed streamlines hiring with powerful tools that find you matched candidates. With Instant Match, over 80% of employees employers get quality candidates whose resume on Indeed matches their job description the moment that they sponsor a job, according to Indeed Data US. One of the things I love about Indeed is that it makes hiring all in one place so easy because candidates that you invite to apply are three times more likely to apply to your job than candidates who only see it in search, according to US Indeed Data. And obviously, Indeed does all the hard work for you. Indeed shows you candidates whose resume on Indeed fit your description immediately after you post so that you can get to hiring faster. And even better, Indeed's the only job site where you can only pay for applications that meet your must-have requirements, which honestly is such a game-changing feature. So join more than 3 million businesses worldwide that use Indeed to hire great talent fast. So start hiring now with a $75 sponsored job credit to upgrade your job post at indeed.com slash unsolicited. Offer good for a limited time. Claim your $75 credit now at indeed.com slash unsolicited. Just go to indeed.com slash unsolicited and support the show by saying that you heard about it from this podcast. Indeed.com slash unsolicited. Terms and conditions apply. Need to hire? You need Indeed. Well, have you started have you watched uh based on a true story no is it a, what is it it's um it's this couple that meet a serial killer that decide to like start a podcast about it oh and it's the girl who plays penny in the big bang theory i've i saw a preview of it is it it's, good it's good it's definitely it's it's extremely cheesy but like in a good way so if you like lean into like the cheesy humor um, I think it's really good. Okay. And I feel like you'd like I'll it. And it's it not scary, but like, I I just think it's really fun. Yeah. So yeah. I've been into it lately. I'll have to check her out. The only thing is it's on Peacock. Oh, I don't have Peacock. The only, like, I don't have Peacock no, either. I My sister does because she likes to watch her trash TV shows and it's on Peacock. She does love the trash TV. She loves TV. it. And um, so I, I, the only reason I got her <laughs> login info was to watch this show. Yeah. Um, And I'm like, I, I'm so annoyed by the amount of networks that there are now yeah. because I have to subscribe to like eight of them in order to see the shows that I want to watch. It's so stupid. Well, also like I just got notified from like three of them like, oh, surprise, there's a price increase, but don't worry, nothing will change for you. Your yeah. billing will just change. Everything's just like, going to be oh, a little cool. bit better. I'm like, prove it. Yeah. So right. anyways, I was just, I think I'm most annoyed at Peacock because they felt like the newest edition and I was like, are you kidding me? Mm-hmm. In a world with all these big names already Whatever. also why is it called peacock yeah i think because of nbc oh i think nbc owns it right? oh yeah okay well that makes sense because right. that's like their mascot okay i take it back <laughs> um anyways i'm trying to get better at that i've noticed myself this year if i've learned anything it's that i say i think in front of everything i say even though i know it's because nbc owns peacock Oh, I get what you're saying. Everything yeah. I I have been become so aware of it this last six months. And I've been trying to fix it, which is so funny because I think so, I think that's it's very the polar female. opposite of what you do. You have two modes. Then you either when you think you know or when you know something, you say I think just to like cover your butt. Yeah. But then when you don't know something, you just pretend you know it. Yeah. It makes zero like sense. Like, you won't, I'll be like, oh, did you see this movie? And I know she didn't. She'll be like, yeah. And then I'll wait, like, two seconds, and she'll look at me, and she'll be like, no. <laughs> and But that's funny that those are the two, because yeah. th- they don't go together. They, they don't, don't make go sense. together at all. And I, I huh. maybe it's my fear of being wrong. Yeah. Or yeah, yeah. being out of the know. I don't know. I'll have to talk about it with Sarah. <laughs> My yeah. <laughs> let's 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 bring that up in therapy. I didn't know you were back in therapy. Oh, I've been in therapy. Oh, nice ash. Thanks. Okay. Um, well, shall we? Everyone's like, shut up. That's not why we're here this month. Uh, we don't care about therapy. We care about <laughs> getting scared to the point where we need therapy. Uh, do you want to go into yours? Yes. Um, let's go into it. This one is titled "Is Someone Following Me." 
And I think this is just a creeper, creepy guy following me episode, apparently. Ooh, based on your turn. Not mine. This one. I meant based on the tearing it up that you read. I know. I'm just telling you. Don't Good. feel we like you're safe in people following you. <laughs> okay. Because mine is terrifying. Okay. Um, is someone following me? Hey, Taryn and Ashley. Happy Spooktober. Although I am a bit of a true crime horror junkie, this is my first year listening to your October series and have since gone back to listen to previous years. So, so good. Though my roommates have told me I need to cool it because these stories are putting me a bit on edge. (laughs) It was the spring of 2018 and I had been living with my best friend in Manhattan, New York. She was away for several months for a job, leaving me alone in our apartment. I was on my way home from work one evening, and the subway was crowded as always. Picture a bunch of sardines packed in a hot tin can. At each stop, the crowd shifted to let people on and off. I'm standing near the doors and notice a man near me, and I happen to notice that he's looking right at me. He is middle-aged and carrying a scooter. Naturally. Sure. Now... I'm an awkward person, so I never know where to look when on public transportation. So I shrugged it off and just kept pretending like I didn't see him. Kind of like the girl in the yeah. story. At the next stop, I moved to let people by and move into a now less crowded part of the subway car. When the train gets going again, I look up and notice that the man also moved and was still looking directly at me. Oof. Hate it. Trying to calm myself down, I tell myself that he must have moved for the same reason I did, and it's nothing. I try telling myself that he might just be looking at the AD behind me. (laughs) Sure. The AD. Oh, the ad. Yes. Oh. Probably. The ad. (laughs) Probably. (laughs) I was like, what is AD? What's AD? (laughs) Athletic director? I don't know. (laughs) Uh, But just to be safe, I decided at the next stop, I'll move again. The subway comes to a jerky halt, and I move. And unfortunately, to my surprise, so does the man. Literal, I hate hate it. I hate it. Mm. But I I like that she's being proactive. Now, maybe only a foot away from me, and he's still staring me down. I don't make eye contact and decide that the next stop, which is my stop, I will wait until the last possible minute to get off, just to see if he tries to get off first. In my head, I've decided that if he doesn't get off with the rest of the people, but gets off at the last minute with me, then something's wrong. The subway halts and my heartbeat is in my ear. Yeah. I hesitate and so does the man, both of us not making a move to get off. So at what felt like the very last second before the doors were going to close, I hurried to get off only to find that the man had also exited the train. Oh my God. Mm -mm. My stop is always crowded because you have to wait to get up a flight of stairs, which takes you to the elevator platform. I decided that maybe this was his stop also, and he just didn't realize where we were and had to get off late too. But just in case that wasn't the case, I decided to weave my way through the crowd to get away from him. I cut through a large group of people, cutting people off to get up the stairs, and finally started feeling safe. I get to the top of the stairs, I start waiting for the elevator, and I feel something. What do you mean you feel something? All of the sudden, something warm against the back of my neck. I turn back ever so slightly to see the man, scooter and all, literally breathing down my neck. Ew! Because they're in like a crowded space. Oh my gosh. I panic. Even though there are tons of people around, I feel helpless and I feel alone. My mind starts going a mile a minute thinking of how I can possibly lose him. I decided once the elevator doors open, I would rush to the back so that my back was against the wall and he would have to stand in front of me and leave me before I actually got out. I got in and quickly made my way to the back. The crowd enters the elevator, as does the man but he makes no acknowledgement toward me, not even a glance. When we get to the next level and the elevator doors open, he exits without any hesitation. Okay, so maybe this was all a coincidence and I freaked myself out for nothing. 
I watch as he exits through the turnstile ahead of me and exits to the right to go up the stairs to leave. I hang back for a moment, feeling silly, silly, <laughs> silly, silly, feeling silly that it was all a coincidence and I take my leave. I push through the turnstile and make my way to exit left up the stairs. I get to the platform after the first set of stairs, turning to go up the next set, and who catches my eye? The man. He is now, once again, right behind me. I sprint up the stairs and I'm finally above ground, so I stop over at the side of the building where we've just come out to see what he will do. He follows and stands on the other side of the sidewalk and just watches me. Ew. I'm trapped. No one has noticed what has been happening. Finally, I saw a group of people walking by, and though I'm very uneasy at that moment, I look at him right in the eye and loudly said, stop. Oh, good. And I darted into the crowd. I walked all over my neighborhood just in case to make sure he didn't follow me, but I didn't see him. I finally felt like it was probably okay to go home and into my apartment. Even though I still felt uneasy, I went up to my apartment, hating the fact that I was living there alone. My mind was a mess thinking about what he could have done to me had I not finally trusted my gut and had I accidentally led him to my apartment. I am so glad that my instincts kicked in before then. However, I am sad to report that I have since been followed on two more occasions. Though now I trust my gut right away and tell them to get lost or I'll call someone. Um... And that usually does the trick and scares them. Hopefully that wasn't too long. I hope you both have a safe Halloween and that we all trust our guts. Mariah. I hate that. I I genuinely um, am so impressed that she's still able to take the subway home. And I obviously that's that's a very like public common mode of transportation out there in New York. But like, I don't know that I could, especially after (sighs) what that's a total of three stockings mm. essentially i i i feel like it would the be breath on her neck uh uh-uh. uh see Mm-mm. that's where i would have freaked out that's what's and been creepy like... about crowded areas because sometimes it feels safer to be in a crowded area but sometimes it just feels yeah. like there's nothing you could do the only thing i would say is i feel like once once you saw him again outside of you've already been in the elevator and you came out once you saw him out there again which is exactly when she did it I feel like in those public situations, you just scream or you yell or you say stop like earlier like you did because um, there's nothing else you can really do. Yeah. Because otherwise it just it looks like a crowded group of people, even though he's like pressed against yeah. you, you know. The only I've never been like followed, followed that I know of, dear God, that's even scary to me that someone could have followed me without me knowing. But there has been some times where like someone's like walking behind me for a while mm-hmm. And usually what I'll do is like very abruptly like move to the side and turn my body like go and I'll look like super annoyed. And then usually they'll be like kind of shocked and like just keep walking. So I think the only thing I think I would have done different is when he came behind me at the elevator, I would have stepped out and gotten behind him. Mm -hmm. But I mean... Then they go up the elevator and he's just waiting there. So either yeah. way, I mean, but they do say that it's better to look someone directly in the eye and to like to say something because most of the time that'll like spook them yeah, um, or make them aware that you're paying attention to them. But, yeah. Oh, they always God. I remember um, they always say, like, if, if you can, like while you're walking, like look up, make eye contact with people that are crossing you. Um, crossing paths with you just so like they know that you know what their face looks like yeah you know that they you could probably pick them out in a crowd because you've seen their face and just no ponytails and no headphones in. yeah and but don't that, look at your phone the headphone <laughs> things is hard i know i feel like i used to be like oh i don't need headphones ponytails are hard but now i'm like geez i feel like i always yeah i try to with headphones just in. put one in yeah that's my happy medium mm-hmm. So obviously creating visual content is an essential part of what I do, but the creative process has not always been that easy. We've talked about this before on the podcast, but when Taryn and I first started, we had zero design skills, no idea about marketing and had no idea how to market a brand like this podcast. 
our absolute saving grace was Canva because they had so many cool features, so many cool templates, so many cool things to kind of spark your creative juices. But one of the most incredible things that Canva has is Canva for Teams. It has been easy to collaborate and design with our team, which makes the whole process so much more fun, so much more creative, and just so much more rewarding. Canva for Teams is a design platform that makes it easy for anyone to create stunning content in any format. From social media posts to videos, presentations, and websites, the endless templates and premium fonts, photos, graphics, and videos add personality and edge to our team's content. With features designed for brand consistency, Canva for Teams makes it easy to maintain your aesthetic and add your logos, fonts, and colors to anything you create. It's seriously so easy, guys. We have a separate folder with all of the colors that we use, all the fonts that we use, so that way, anytime someone wants to be creative and create something new, they know where to pull those things from. And Canva for Teams streamlines how we do social media too. We can plan, create, and share social media content directly to all of our channels, all from one place. And the best part is you can even schedule posts ahead of time. That's what I'm talking about. Efficiency. Canva for Teams also has a video editor that is so easy to use with tons of filters, animations, and transitions that'll bring all of your group's content to life. So collaborate with Canva for Teams. Right now, you can get a free 45-day extended trial when you go to canva.me slash advice. That's C-A-N-V-A dot M-E slash advice, A-D-V-I-C-E, for a free 45-day extended trial. Again, that's canva.me slash advice. Okay, people. You ready for mine? Yes. It's okay. so fun going first. Yeah, I know. I don't like it, but it's fine. Um, okay. This one is actually from last year. Ooh. Um, because, like, I was looking through last year's file, too, and I saw this one, and I'm like, how did we miss this one? Because oh, it's fun. so terrifying. Um, and it is titled, We Call Her Cindy. Oh. No. I hate it already. No. Oh. I literally hate it already. Okay. Spooky greetings, Taryn and Ashley. My, t- my tame. My name is Natasha, and I'm from a small city in Canada. I love your podcast. It was a big part of the happiness I could find during COVID. So I thank you both a lot for helping me and my loved ones find some joy in a dark period. Okay. Now let's get a little spooky. Spooky. I I need to find I'll try to get like an audio of it that we could punch in if I can remember, but my nephew, spooky, is like one of my favorite words that he says right now because he says spooky. Spooky. So he'll be like, Oh, a spooky skeleton. Cute. It's so cute. So I, every time I see spooky, I just hear Axel going, Spooky. And oh. do you see a spooky skeleton? Spooky skeleton. Oh. Should we get your um, brother and Vanessa, uh, what is it, giant skeleton for their yeah. new place? <laughs> they we don't say anything. They just, they just hate show it. up and it's there. Just a 12 foot. Yeah. It it says, it's holding a sign that says spooky. Spooky. Yeah. Yes. Okay. Whew. That's your last bit of joy you'll ever feel in your life, everyone. <laughs> okay. Ever since I was a child... I have had odd encounters that no one can explain, Mm -mm. both good and bad. But this story will stick with me and others forever. I lived in a smaller place at the time with a few stories in a new developing area by some train tracks. I worked at this place in high school and a little bit afterwards. Odd things would happen from time to time when I was alone in the back of the store, like pens, quote unquote, falling off the counter. But if I'm being honest, they didn't look like they were falling. It looked like they were being thrown. Clothes falling right in front of me, banging noises across the back of the store. This happened for a couple years, but I never told anyone because it had to be a coincidence, right? (laughs) Wrong. Wrong. A couple years later, a new coworker and now longtime friend started working with me. And we both grew close as we worked the same shifts together. One day, offhand, I mentioned as a joke how this place was haunted. My friend stopped what she was doing and looked at me. Has she been bothering you too? No. (laughs) No. Thank you. 
<laughs> she asked with a hint of fear in her voice. Who is she? I asked, feeling a chill run through my body. She mentioned flying pens, sounds of nails dragging across the walls. Oh, oh my God. I literally just got goosebumps. <laughs> just anything nails. Oh, I know, I know, I, I know. Hate it, hate it, hate I know. It. Clothes falling accidentally, all this, all the same I had been experiencing. She began to explain to me as a child, she often had odd occurrences happen to her just like me. But for her, she fully admits she believed in those type of things that you only see in the scary movies or in stories. And I too believed as well, but always felt alone, so never mentioned it. She explained she felt the presence was a girl, a young girl, but harmless. She said she had a feeling this girl was trying to get our attention and to be careful because now we were both acknowledging her. Uh-uh. 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 <laughs> so you pretend it never so happened. Don't Check. talk. Don't share. Check. Don't, don't tell anyone. Don't tell any. Check. Yeah. Ah. Fast forward, the occurrences started getting more noticeable and loud. I often felt a presence behind or beside me and would catch shadows in the corner of my eye. And so would my friends. <sighs> Finally, one morning, we were on the early shift, and it was just her and I in the store. We were on the sales floor, which was rather large. We both heard a huge bang. A ton of metal fixtures had gone crashing and broke completely on the other side of the store. The fixtures had nothing on them as we were doing renovations, but they collapsed as if something heavy had pushed it with a hard force. (laughs) Hello? I called out. I felt absolutely terrified at this point, and my friend was silent. We know you're here. Don't be afraid, I said to it, to her. I really don't know. I looked to my friend, and I swear, I felt lips on my ear, and a whisper said with a strong force, No. No. Ah. Ah. Why? Why did she feel the lips in the air? <laughs> I hate it. <laughs> Ooh. Okay. Well, no sleep tonight. <laughs> no sleep. Another bus. No sleep. <laughs> Another story. Your eyes are watering. I'm a little teary eyed. <laughs> I'm scared. Uh, I scream bloody murder and whip my head around. And of course, there was no one there. Mm. Since that occurrence, my friend and I were terrified. Everything was real. She was real. Mm -hmm. We did some research and later found out that on the land the store was built on, a young girl had been killed by the train tracks. No. And still, years after, pens fly, things move, and odd occurrences happen. And for those who are new and have the courage to ask if anyone has had anything happen, the story is told. The story of the girl who haunts the back of the store, we call Cindy. Happy Halloween. There it is. Cindy. That's why you gotta be so, you gotta, you just gotta, it's, that's why we gotta continue telling history. Oh, what? (laughs) Like, turns out there's a girl that was killed there on the train tracks. You better believe she's haunting it. Of course she is, wouldn't you? That makes perfect sense. I wouldn't want to be anywhere near it. That's why you, when you buy a home, you need to, like, ask questions. Yeah. Dear God. <sighs> well. Yeah. That was. <laughs> Damn it. <laughs> the, the lips on the ear. To and like a whisper with that. The thing is, she said, and a whisper with a strong force, which means she felt air. Breath. Yeah. Or like, you know, in the movies, whenever it's like a ghost, it's always like a really, like an echoed out, yeah. like strong, like whisper. Strong force. Help me. Mm-mm. Taryn. <laughs> I like being the one reading this scary story as opposed to being read. Like yours was scary, but I also am like, that's a reality as a woman I've known is possible forever. Mm-hmm, mm-hmm. But your story last week, I did not like it. Yeah, that one was yeah. dark times. <laughs> Dark times over here. Uh, if you notice mine and Taryn's photos getting like worse and worse and there's sunken circles under our eyes, it's because we we're not sleeping. Sleep. Uh, reading your guys' stories. I again think 
you should sign up for Supercast yeah. or just we'll start like a a cash app. Yeah. And you guys should just throw us just a slight donation yeah. because um, we're going to need intensive facials uh-huh. and maybe some Botox, some Botox, yep. all the things to keep us looking fresh. <laughs> we're going to need something because <laughs> payment for the exorcist <laughs> that we're going to hire <laughs> to sage this place. Scary, scary. Do exorcists sage? Is that not a thing? I don't know that exorcists. Sage, I, I feel like they are, mm. they're the prayers, prayers, prayers. But I see no harm in both. Sure, cover us all. I see. Let's do it all. I already covered us all with the blood of Jesus. <laughs> I prayed over this whole season of October series, so we're, we're fine. We're fine. We're not getting haunted. We are fine. Not us. Um, Can't touch us. But please, please send in any scary story that you're you know sitting on. Mm-hmm. Also, if there's a time to like dramatize a story and like add the fun details, like this is the this is the time to do yeah, it. This is it. So um if you and your friends have like scary stories you've told each other or like like legends you've heard about something that happened in your town or like anything like that. Um, it could be real life stuff. It could be not real life stuff. It's not real. None of it's real. Anything so in between. It could be fiction, which is what I tell myself all these are. Um, anything. So send in your stories. It's not too late. We still have a couple weeks. Send them into um, advice unsolicited pod at yep. gmail.com with the yep. title that says October series. October series. And if it's a funny one, then add tearing it up in the title yeah. so that we can differentiate. Yes, because we lazy. Because we lazy. <laughs> that's how we organize things. Or that's how Mandy does. That's Cause how Mandy does because we don't. can't do crap. We don't. Um. Okay, yeah. That's all we got for you today. I will end us with a dad joke. Please do. And Light then the we mood. will all just, you know, go watch a cartoon. Yeah. Something. Keep the lights on. Something, something. Um. By the way, I read this when I was prepping for the episode this morning. Um, I decided I pulled I pulled stories up last night and I was like, you're brave. You're strong. You're confident. You can do this. And then halfway through one of them, I was like, you can't do this. I read this some last smart. night and I didn't sleep great. I was like, why are you doing this? Like, yeah. this is dumb. Don't do this. I left my salt, my salt lamp on all night. Yeah, I don't. I don't blame you. Um, so then I decided, you know what? I'm going to have a cute little morning. I'm going to go to a coffee shop. And so I went to a coffee shop and I'm like sitting outside at these cute little tables. There's like all these people around. And when I got to like the whisper part, I like audibly gasped (laughs) and like just was staring at my computer with like huge eyes. And I definitely caught like a few. There was like a cute guy there. And then this little kid that was sitting next to me, like looked at me like, what happened yeah and i was just like it's okay okay. you're safe it's daylight there's people around yeah yeah anyways okay why do witches drink beer uh i don't know um because they enjoy a good brew (sighs) that lunch Guys, if you made it to the dad joke, you know the drill. We love you the most. You're a little quiet over there, Ash. You okay? I'm scared. <laughs> I'm scared. I'll say it. I'm very scared. We just wear headphones forever because we don't want any ghost lips on us. <laughs> oh God. Just the way that she wrote that just ma- gave like me it. actual chills. Um, I didn't like it. I'm unwell. <laughs> but... If you made it to the dad joke, we love you the most. We need your content. So please take the time to email us a spooky story, yours or someone else's, at adviceunsolicitedpod at gmail.com. Yep. Check out our merch website. We have October Series 2023 merch that we're very proud of. We have sweatshirts and we have totes as well as our um, some of our older merch is still available. So yes. definitely go check that out. Also subscribe to our Supercast where you can get a bonus scary story every single, every week, single week this month. So if you love the spooky content, Supercast is calling your name um yeah. and happy spooky season and we'll see you guys and well we won't we won't see you guys you might see us if you follow us on youtube but we'll talk to you <laughs> i've literally just been like waiting for this to end and i feel like i'm a viewer just watching like just like watching me where's spiral. she going with this yeah <laughs> she's pa- she's like panic talking now yeah. like it's just <laughs> i just like i don't i don't <laughs> The lips breathing on the ear I thing know. really got me. All I'm going to say, I I'm just, just going to leave the door you. open because it's so hot. I keep looking at I the do door. too. But all this to say, I'm just going to leave us with saying this. Yeah. 
Stop sharing <laughs> that. <laughs> Stay safe. Keep the lights on. Love you all. Say your prayers. Bye. Bye.